Carter Bagley writes, Dear AMC Movie Talk Crew, I was just wondering what are some of your guys' favorite ending scenes in movie history? Some of my favorites are The Perks of Being a Wallflower and Fight Club. Thanks and bring on the filthy. Um, yeah, Fight Club is, is one of those great endings. I don't want to get into any spoiler stuff here, so it's going to be hard to talk too much about this. Um, movies that I liked uh, that had great endings, Usual Suspects, Unforgiven, uh, Inception, Memento, uh, Sunshine, and uh, Aronofsky's The Wrestler. What about you? Uh, for me, I'm going to go with uh, Godfather 2 is one of my favorites. Uh, again, we'll get into spoilers, uh, but uh, Michael Corleone, who's you know played by Al Pacino, is looking over Lake Tahoe, and the way that whole scene before that set up, it's just so much weight on just a look and an expression on his face that he captured so well. I don't know if Pacino's maybe given a better performance than he did in Godfather 2 since then, but uh, he was great. Uh, Aliens, uh, Sigourney Weaver, uh, awesome, just awesome action sequence from back in, what, 86? You know, just great. Uh, Definitely Inception, you know, like Inception, uh, the ending was great. Um, also, like you said, uh, some other films I also agree with. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's hard, I don't wanna, I wanna talk about it, but like you said, I don't wanna spoil anything. Um, I'm trying to think what else, uh, Moon? Oh, talk yeah. about Sam Rockwell, oh, yeah. so that Sam Rockwell quit. Moon had a great, a, a great uh, ending too. Again, don't wanna spoil it, but another great ending as well. Yeah, and I feel like uh, to have a great ending, it doesn't have to be a twist ending, because I know no, like right. some, of, some of them do. I think the great endings are ones that the whole movie kind of builds the tension towards something, right. and then at the very end, whatever happens is, is a release for the character or right. the story, and it tells you something about what's going on. Right. So I, I think, I don't know, like, you've seen Unforgiven before, right? Yes, yes. So, it, it, uh, so with Clint Eastwood's character, uh, what's his name, Money? Mm -hmm. It's like he reverts back to who he was. You know what I mean? Right. It's like you wanted to see that happen, and so I, I, I think, yeah, I think that's a, definitely a good one. Um, There's some uh, other one too. Uh, I know a lot of people on here, are probably Guillermo del Toro fans, probably more more recently with his Hellboy, and um, you know Pacific Rim uh, movies he has going. But also, if you haven't checked out Pan's Labyrinth, that's got a great ending as well. It's uh, again, it won't spoil, but very ambiguous. It's about a little girl named Ophelia who is trapped. It's like this magic realism story. She's trapped in uh, this. Uh, uh, Spain, you know, during World War II, but then there's also this fantasy world that's going on. The endings kind of, those stories come together and you have to kind of make up your own mind about what you want to believe is real, what you want to believe is uh, fantasy. And that's, I think, one of the better endings. Maybe my favorite Guillermo del Toro film to date, too. I would so recommend checking that one out. I know a lot of people get upset at ambiguous endings. I don't. Yeah. I don't need everything to be spelled out right. for me. I think, like, uh, you know, the ending of Inception, it's yeah. ambiguous. Is it or is it? I don't want to spoil it again. Right, the like, whole theater after the ending, everybody just like went, oh, you know, when yes. that ending happened, you know, it's just one of those things. But it, it leaves you going home thinking about it. Maybe going out having, you know, you know, lunch or dinner with somebody and having a conversation about the movie. Those are always the best mm -hmm. films, the one that you talk about for a long period of time. Gone Girl is one of those yeah. kind of movies. Gone Girl is a great modern day, great ending. That one's still in the theaters. Check that one out. I well, I like that ending because there was a lot of people that are upset. Like yeah. after Gone Girl was over, like I remember when I saw it the second time, the people uh, sitting next to me were were like actually upset that right. it ended that way. Right. So for me, I, I thought it was a good ending for yeah. it. So. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.